Yeah, so I'm going to be showing you um, how to make any seamless texture online and convert it into a proper material for anything really using Unreal Engine 4. First thing you want to do is open up your browser and um, go to Google and go to images and type in um, seamless texture. Now, you want to try and get like a, you know, a decent size one uh, for this. I'm going to use this. You always want to hit view image to get the biggest version because if you download the smaller one, it'll be that size instead of this size. So you're going to just save the image and rename it. Um, I'm just going to name it Rock. And then there's a website where you can edit the material or the texture itself it's called um, this right here I'll put a link normal map online you just want to select height map it, this is all default so you want to put your rock in here and you see this is the output it's going to look for some of the things now um, usually what I do first is untick rotation make it a sphere for your model and start editing until you get the desired results. So, um, let's see. First thing I do is go to the normal maps and adjust these levels. You can see as I change it, it um, changes with it. So I'm just going to get something desired. Maybe I'll, uh, something like this is fine for now. You could also like invert it and stuff. Mm, I'm liking this so far. And then um, your displacement map, you can edit this if you want to make, uh, add tessellation. So um, right now, this current, if I was to take off displacement, it would be flat. But um, yeah, basically, if you want tessellation, you need a displacement map, and you just want to um, adjust these values. Values, you can see it gets spikier, or, yeah, if I blur it, you see it, it's kind of like that. But for this, I'm not going to worry about that right now, and that's with that, you should probably untake that. But I'm going to keep the specular, um, ambient inclusion, and normal maps. So you probably want to do the specular next. It's basically be like a shiny, or you can just edit it in engine. But, um, yeah, you can see right here. Basically, it's like the wrong sort of. Just leave it at defaults, unless you want to change it yourself. But yeah, and you also got ambient occlusion. I'm going to put this, you can see it changes of the shading. I probably want it. Oh, yeah, look at that inverted. Way better, way nicer. Something like that should work out. Yeah, that looks pretty nice already. Bomb. Yeah, after you got your desired result, if you were to have tessellation, you put that in, you can see, and then I'll probably make something separate where you can look it up, how do you plug in tessellation and displacement maps. But yeah, next thing you want to do is um, download the ones you want. I'm not going to download displacement. So for the normal, I'm going to name it rock underscore normals. Download it. goes there. AO, I'm going to name that rock. AO for ambient occlusion and rock specular. I'm going to name that rock spec and download it. So now you got those three and the original texture itself, this one right here. Close out of that, go to your Unreal Engine, um, ignore all the other levels, you'll probably be doing this, whatever. I just made a new one. But, um, 
Next thing I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to go right here and make a, uh, first I'm going to import to where you put all those. So we've got uh, a rock, rock AO, rock normals, and rock spec. Let's let them all um, open it up. So import. And you should get all of them. Okay, so you got all four. Now you want to make you want to plug these all together basically to make the final result. So make a new material. I'm going to name this rock underscore M for material. Open it up, and then you want to select all four, and then start plugging it in the right ones. So we got um. First, we're going to do just the rock for base color. Apply. And you see, you got the texture. Looks pretty nice by it for itself, actually. But when you plug in the, uh, the normals, it really gives it its depth. So you can see it's got a bit more depth. You can see the light, how it reflects off the grid, the um, rock itself. And we also got the spec. You want to plug that in. And you can see that was applied. And finally, you got the AO, the ambient inclusion. Hopefully, this uh, really adds to it like it did. Yeah, there we go. You can see. If I zoom in a bit, fairly quick. You got it off Google Images. You could use this for basically anything, as long as it's seamless. Whatever, something like I did could be sand, rock, snow, any texture you want, basically. Water, and um, if you were to add the displacement map, you do the same thing and plug it in to the, you know. But you could also change some of the other values like roughness and metallic but I'm just going to leave it how it is to keep it simple and now um, if we plug it into here we might want to resize this it all depends on what you're putting it into but mm, okay I'm going to put it back and you can also resize everything if you go to UVs do this and uh, get a texture coordinate and I just plug in all of them so it's all the same and then um, I want to make it smaller so I say four times the size of the UNV tiles Now, since it's seamless, you're not going to notice any, uh, you know, lines or anything. But to really show off how nice this can look, if I uh, make it nighttime by pointing away, and we'll... okay. Now, when I add, it's completely dark. Um, I could probably make it brighter at night, but for now, I'm just going to add a uh, point light. And then when I play, excuse the uh, sound that's off on the board. Okay. But yeah, I'd say that's a, you can adjust it, however. Matter of fact, I kind of want to make that three times the size it's before. And my mouse died. Nice. Switch it out. Okay. Uh, play. Okay. But yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that just says preview because I didn't build it again, but. Yeah, the, that's could be applied to anything really, but yeah, that's how you do it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be making more tutorials hopefully, and that'll be it. Let me just you know, 